After completing UIF home screen, let's talk about the function of mouse button in Gadia V5. The effective use of mouse button along with the control key on the keyboard can significantly reduce the time required to complete any design task. Basically, three operations are performed using mouse button, pan, rotate and zoom in zoom out. To pan the view of model on the screen, press and hold the middle mouse button and drag your cursor along the screen. To invoke the zoom mode, press and hold the middle mouse button and then click the right mouse button once. Now you can drag up and drag down to zoom in and zoom out of the view of the model. You can also invoke the zoom tool by first pressing and holding the control key and then pressing and holding the middle mouse button. Now release the control key and drag the cursor to zoom in and zoom out of view of a model. For rotation mode, press and hold the middle mouse button. Along with that, press and hold the right mouse button. Now drag your cursor to dynamically rotate the model. You can also rotate the model in a geometry area by pressing and holding the middle mouse button and then pressing and holding the control key. Along with these mouse buttons, there are also some keyboard keys which can be used to invoke tools. These keys are called hotkeys. Some of the hotkeys along with their functions are listed in the description below. Now, Kadia V5 environment associates three file extension, cat part, cat product and cat drawing. Cat part is a file extension associated with the file created in the part design workbench, generative sheet metal workbench or wireframe and software design workbench. On the other hand, cat product is a file extension associated with the assembly files created in assembly workbench. Whereas cat drawing is a file extension associated with all drafting files created in drafting workbench. Now in Kadia V5, bidirectional associativity exists between all of its workbenches, which ensures that any modification made in the model in any workbench will automatically reflect in other workbench also. For example, if you modify the dimension of a part in part design workbench, the change will reflect in assembly design and drawing workbench also. Similarly, if you modify the dimension of a part in a drawing view generated in a drawing workbench, the changes will reflect in part design and assembly design workbench. So this is a very useful feature. This is all about the components and features of Kodia V5. From next lecture onwards, we will start with the part design sketching workbench. Thank you for watching.